What causes delayed healing of a fracture? I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and author of That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. I provide education, information, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. Broken bones typically heal, whether you need surgery or you do it with a cast or a brace, that type of thing, bones tend to heal. Our bodies lay down new bone to basically fill the gap and basically make it a solid bone. Now sometimes the bone doesn't heal for whatever reason, either surgery, if you had surgery and it still doesn't heal, or even if you didn't have surgery, you didn't need it, it can go on to not heal. It's not likely, but it happens. But are there risks that increase the chance that the bone is slow to heal, delayed healing? Well, we're going to talk about that in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video. Carissa asks, I broke my humerus backpacking. I have a plate that bends down my elbow. I have seven nails. The scar is really bad. It's been 11 weeks. It's swollen and I can't use my thumb or my right hand in general much. The doctor said it's delayed healing. I'm 46 and a non-smoker. What causes delayed healing? Well, it's really important and when we say delayed healing, we, we don't use that term at a specific point for every fracture. We don't get to six weeks and say, all right, longer than six weeks is delayed healing. It depends on the bone, it depends on a person's age. But generally after three, four, maybe five, six months, you get past that, you start to worry that it, you're in that delayed healing phase. You get to a certain point and you get to what we call non-union, where it didn't heal at all. Now, what are the risks of a fracture healing slowly or delayed healing? Well, Carissa mentioned probably the most common one, and that's smoking and cigarette smoking. That is a tremendous risk factor for a bone and a fracture not healing. That would be the first. But there's maybe some medications. We think large doses for a long period of time of anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen or naproxen, that type of thing, that could do it. Maybe steroids, if you're on steroids for a medical condition, that could do it. Maybe some medical problems. Diabetes might increase your risk of certain fractures not healing. It could be issues related to the fracture itself. If you break the bone in a position where, or it's treated in a way where there's still a lot of fracture motion, where whatever the splint or the brace isn't stabilizing it and it's moving more than it should, that might increase the risk that it's slow to heal. Or if it's a bone that's prone to poor blood supply, or the fracture, the break interrupts the blood supply. The scaphoid of the wrist is a common one for that. There's certain bones in the feet where there's poor blood supply to that area and then with low blood supply the body doesn't lay down much callus and and basically doesn't form new bone that helps the fracture heal so there's all sorts of reasons that a fracture can be slow to heal just being a non-smoker doesn't necessarily get you off the hook that's a potential risk with any fracture fortunately for most fractures that risk is pretty low have you suffered a fracture that was slow to heal and your doctor told you it was delayed healing? What was the fracture and what were the possible reasons why it was slow to heal? I'd love to hear your experience and honestly, I think viewers all around the world would love to hear about it as well. So below this video, describe your experience, what the fracture was, maybe why it was slow to heal and what you did to finally get it to heal, what the doctor ultimately had to do to get it to heal. Also, I would love to hear the biggest challenge you're facing with whatever your injury is. In the description below this video, there's a link where you can click on it and write all about the challenge you're facing with your injury. I'd love to hear it because I want to make sure that I can create content and courses and programs that best help you. And so if you leave that biggest injury challenge, I can help basically answer your questions, answer your problems in ways that are helpful to you. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. I record several of these videos every single week, so click the subscribe button in the upper right corner of the page and they'll get delivered directly to you. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.